Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I want to talk about a feature that was just announced called Static Data Masking. Now, this is a feature that's available both with Azure SQL Database and SQL Server on-prem. So it's not exclusive to Azure, uh, but it was an interesting feature and I had a chance to try it out and I wanted to share a little bit about that with you today. So to use static data masking, uh, as I'm recording this, you do need to use SQL Server Management Studio 2018 preview number five. So that's uh, important. Uh, anything earlier than that, uh, and this feature is not available. It's something that you enable through Management Studio, and I'll show you uh, in just a second here how that actually works. Now we've had dynamic data masking uh, in the past, and the way that that worked is that you could set up a, a policy uh, such that when a certain user would query uh, a field, maybe with some sensitive information, that you could mask the underlying data with uh, some other characters. So for example, I could mask a social security number with a string of X's or something like that. Now, the, the key thing to note there is with dynamic data masking, the underlying data does not change. Now, with static data masking, which I'm going to show you here in a second, it actually alters the data. It updates the data in your database. So the way that it works is you're, you're actually creating a copy of your database and then applying updates that actually modify the data in your database. So this is quite a lot different than dynamic data masking. And so why would you want to do that? Well, there are a number of reasons you would want to do that. Um, certainly, this is not something that you would apply on your live production database, but perhaps uh, you've got a team that needs to do some uh, performance uh, monitoring or they need to do, test some performance improvements on the database. And to do so, they really need like the full copy of the, the live data with all the latest indexes and stats. Uh, and, and sometimes you really need your full database to do that. So you can apply the static data masking to a copy of it such that that team doesn't have access to the sensitive information at all, um, but they, they do have access to the full structure and the data volume, etc. cetera. Uh, and so again, this is an update. This is not some type of encryption that you can decrypt and, and go back to the original value. So once you've masked that data, it's masked and you can't really uh, change it. So let's take a look at how this works a little bit here. Again, this is uh, implemented through SQL Server Management Studio. And so if you look at this screenshot here, uh, this is something that you uh, enable at the database level. So I just showed you, I'm gonna right click the database and choose tasks. And then I have an option there and you can see in my version here, it's marked as a preview of mask the database. And on the second screenshot, this shows the, the uh, configuration box of how you set up the masking. So in this case here, I've just selected one field in one table. And in that drop down, I've shown the different options you have for how you want to mask that data. Uh, the string composite option that I've selected there is actually pretty, pretty neat. You can do all kinds of regular expressions inside there. So to do some, um, you have a lot of flexibility for how you want to actually mask that data. And so that one was pretty neat there. Uh, the shuffle and the shuffle group actually will just um, choose different values from your data and just kind of mix it up. Um, but I, I chose the string a composite when I was uh, testing this and I thought that it worked pretty well. Up at the top, you'll see that you do have an option for saving a configuration. So if you've uh, set this up, you've got a lot of fields that you want to mask, you can save that configuration and reuse it later, uh, which is a pretty nice feature. And once you've made the choices about which fields you want to mask and how you want to mask them, you just press OK. And then it will uh, kick off the process of, if it's on-premises, creating a backup and then applying updates. Or if it's in Azure SQL database, it'll create a, a clone of the database and then perform those updates on the clone. And depending on the size of your database, this could take a few minutes or more because it's actually updating your data. And if it all succeeds, then you'll see this message here indicating that the masking is complete. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions about the Azure data platform or data warehousing in, in Azure, please reach out and let us know. Thank you.